Hello and welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video, we'll see how to use an NA Series HMI to collect and data log power consumption readings from an NJ or NX Series machine controller connected to a KMN2 power monitor. The data log CSV files will be stored on an SD card plugged into the HMI, which the end user can then copy onto a USB memory stick plugged into the HMI at any time. In the previous video, we showed how to set up and achieve communications from an NJ or NX machine controller to a KMN2 power monitor to access power consumption readings. So if I go online with my NX1P2, we have this function block here that's reading KMN2 values into this variable called KMN2 readings. And we can see these values in this watch window here. Voltage, current frequency, active power, and so on. If I come offline from the NX1P2, in this project I also have an NA series HMI, this one being a 9 inch model. The main page shows all the readings coming from the KMN2, and we can data log these. To do that, in, under data logging, we set up a data set. I've created a data set here called data set KMN2. Storage type is always to CSV files, and we can specify if we want to save those files to SD memory card or to a USB stick plugged into the HMI. The reason I've chosen SD memory card is that if uh, you choose USB memory stick, then that memory stick must be plugged in at all times, uh, otherwise the data logging stops. But by logging to the SD memory card, uh, you can then, with a little bit of code, copy the files onto a USB stick so the, the end user can uh, plug in a USB memory stick and unplug it as he, as he wishes. The target folder uh, that gets created on the SD card is called data logging, set here. Uh, what actually happens is this folder is created and then a subfolder with this data set name is created and the files get logged into that folder. I'm logging a value every minute, and you can choose whatever value you want, but I'm running every minute. And every day I create a new CSV file, but you could change that to, to whatever you like. These are the values that I'm reading and data logging, so active power, power factor, the resettable active energy and the resettable reactive energy. Um, but we could add many more variables, up to about 128. So I could add in a new variable, we just type in the variable name, so there's my readings, and then dot, and choose anything else. I won't add anything else at this point, so I'll just delete that entry. Back to the main uh, page, I have two buttons here. This one here opens a pop-up. In this pop-up, these are the two main buttons. The refresh save data log button calls a function that exports any log data sat in a buffer to the relevant CSV file on the SD card, thus ensuring the most up-to-date data is saved. The copy log data to USB memory button opens another pop-up, this one here. This shows if we have a memory stick plugged in or not and then lets the user copy the log data from the SD card to the USB memory stick. If I show this in action, I have a VNC viewer here so I can connect to the HMI. So here's the main page and we can see the uh, various readings. I can go into settings. I could refresh save data files, click on the copy log button. I don't have a USB stick in, but if I do plug one into the uh, HMI, it's now there, and we can copy the data. So this now copies the whole data log folder. So from the SD card, it copies the whole data logging data set KMN2 folder and all subfolders to the USB stick on this folder here. So it time and date stamps um, the, the time the folder is created on the USB stick. And then I could eject the stick 
and now I can plug it into my laptop. If I try to copy without the USB stick in, it tells us that we don't have the USB memory connected as expected. So if I plug the USB stick into the uh, uh, into my laptop, we can see I've got a number of folders here. So these are the folders that are created in the copy process. So I've opened the most uh, recent one on here, and I can go into any of these. So it's year, month, and day. So I could go into there, and there's our CSV file. If I open that up, we can now have a look at that data with Excel. So here we are, we have a timestamp, and we're reading active power, we're reading power factor, the resettable active energy in watt hours, and the re resettable reactive energy in VARH. The timestamp, this is a time uh, date uh, type field. So if I change the cell formatting to reflect that, It's now got time and date, so the 13th of January, 9.05, 9.06, so once a minute, and there are our readings. The gaps here are where the HMI has been rebooted, or I've re-downloaded a new application uh, to, to the HMI, so that's what I've been doing, and, and that explains these breaks in the data. But we'll basically, if I scroll down, we basically get a reading every minute for the whole day, until I turned off the system at this time here. Of course, we could be recording anything else that's, uh, that's held in the uh, controller. Another couple of features with this HMI application. From the main page, if I click on this button here, it asks me, do I want to reset the active and reactive energy values in the KMN2? If I want to, I click on yes, and the controller will send a Modbus command to the KMN2 to reset these values. If not, I just press on no. And in HMI settings here, just a simple interface to change the uh, real-time clock on the uh, HMI. So if I want to do that, just click into the uh, data entry field here, enter your new time and date, press enter, and click on the set date and time button here. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.